Yeah, drone here. Check it out. That's the Esheen E010 with an FPV camera on it. And uh, there's a controller. This is not its controller, but we are going to transmit that on the FPV screen over here. That's the T5's controller, which the T5 is 5.8 gigahertz. This is not a scannable receiver, but this is, uh, you can change the channels and whatnot on this. So that's what I did. I matched it up to this receiver. So we're just going to show you how this works really quick. And why would I want to match it up to the receiver? Um, because the receiver can record on it. So we're just going to power this on. We're going to uh, throttle up and down. Then if you hold this like this, that uh, calibrates the gyroscope. But we are also going to turn this on. And as you can see, it says loading in here. You probably can't see it. it's probably too bright um but bam as you check it out that's the transmission off there and then this button right here is going to record it there is a sd card over here so uh we're going to take our goggles here and uh we're just going to pop it out we have a very basic set of goggles here it's uh the mjx set here and all we're going to do is turn it on i do already have it on the channel we're going to drop this in here and then uh, we're just going to kind of cruise around the drone room here. Um, that's all that's to it. You, you just have to find the channel that that originally transmits off of. That way you can fly off here. All right, guys. Enjoy the flight. All right, guys. Here we are. This is uh, the camera on the Ishin 010. Bam! Hitting some drones. Flying over some drones. Um, I am flying FPV. And uh, this is being recorded on the Ghoul RC's controller, which is sitting in front of me. Uh, it's pretty cool that it has an SD card in that you're able to do this. It's not a scannable receiver, but if you have a good enough uh, FPV camera, you should be able to switch the channels and find out what channel that the Ghoul RC was originally stuck on or that uh, the receiver stuck on. Uh, I do plan on getting a better indoor flyer because, as you see, we'll come down here shortly, um, which I kind of had an issue with that, just kind of flying around. And I guess right here, drop throttle a little bit too much and it kind of crash. I mean, maybe if I didn't have all the stuff all around uh, my floor here I wouldn't have that issue where it would come down and I'd be able to go right back up again but uh, here we're, we're taking off again and we're kind of bouncing into things no no real issue with that because it has uh, blade guards around it but um definitely need something a little bit more punch but this was a success this was testing this was a success we're down I'm J Drone if you haven't subscribed please do and have a wonderful day